In Jesus' precious name, whatever is not revealed cannot be assessed. The secret things belong to God, but those that are revealed, they are the only ones, the only ones who can assess. Tonight, God will grant each of us access to a new realm of enjoying his presence perpetually in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you for what you are doing with us since the pre shooting encounter services began. Thank you for testimonies pouring in on a daily basis. Receive our thanks in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the wonders of your praise that we are experiencing. Receive our thanks in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' precious name. Give the Lord a big hand of praise and please you may be comfortably seated. Engaging the wonders of praise. This is the last in the series of these midweek services. Exodus 15, 11. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods, who is like thee, glorious in holiness, and doing fearful things in praises, awesome things in praises. Whatever can stop the way against God, can stop the way against praise. Because God endures the praises of his people. No gate can ever be shut against God. So no gate can be shut against an acceptable praising believer. Whose praise are not noises in the ears of God. Whatever can't stop the way against God, can't stop the way against acceptable praise. Acceptable praise. Acceptable praise. For these people move near me with their mouth and with their tongue, with their heart on me, but their heart is far from me, so it's not acceptable. Okay, God, thank you. Oh, Lord, I praise you, but you know all the things around me. That doesn't sell. It doesn't sell for anything. More money as you praise does not provide access to anything. It only destroys. Praising without being merry at heart is not acceptable. Is any merry, let him praise. Let him sing. Is any merry, let him sing psalms. So not all praises are acceptable to God. He said, take away the noise of your songs from my ears. Praises have become nuisance in the ears of God. They don't deliver anything. More money and, and praising and complaining and praising don't sell. Whatever can stop the way against God can't stop the way against acceptable praise. Acceptable praise. May our praises become and remain acceptable from this day forward. Can I hear your loudest amen? Sustainable praise anchors on the world. In God will I praise his word. In God I put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. Verse 10, in God will I praise his word. In the Lord 
will I praise his word? When our praise life anchors on the word, it becomes supernaturally sustainable because the word is stable. The word is permanent. It lives and abides forever. We are not praising him for what he has done. We are praising him for who he is. We are praising the integrity of his word, thereby provoking him to confirm them in our lives. Whatever it tells you to do, do it. Things look dry. Let the people who desire a change praise the Lord. Let all the people praise thee, O oh God. Then shall the earth ye that increase. And God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. You want a change of story? Turn into praise. Things look dry around your life. Turn into praise. You lack wine, there's no joy that's real. Turn into praise. Whatever it tells you to do, do it. And then you gain access to what he has promised. But the preaching of the gospel is foolishness to those who perish. But to us who believe is the power of God. 1 Corinthians 1, 18. How can I be praising God with all these things around my life? No, I'm not. I can't, I can't pretend. I can't pretend. I can't pretend. God has not treated me well. I can't pretend. I must say it. I wish you know what you are saying. You are saying, leave me the way I am. I'm taking over from you. I've waited for you to effect a change. I can't see the change. So stay on your own, I stay on my own. That can be very frustrating and devastating. You can't handle your affairs. You are now too small to handle our fears. You can't sustain yourself to wake up when you sleep. You can't defend yourself against the arrows of the enemy that fly by day. And the president that move at noon day. You can't. I wish people who complain know what they are saying. They are saying, God, hands off. I think I can handle this. I think I can handle this. Somebody's life just opened up now. Whatever it tells you to do, do it. Whatever it tells you to do, do it. There may not be fruit in the fix. The fruit of the olive may fail. Except for a chain to occur, rejoice in the Lord. Then he will step in and make your feet and my feet like hands feet. And it will make us to ride upon our high places. His ways are higher than our ways and his thoughts than our thoughts. Anybody who appears or poses to be smarter than God is playing the fool. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. And then you see his hand. No one here shall, no one here shall miss his steps anymore in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our line of thought tonight is as follows. We can conquer the toughest battles of our lives through praise. Say with me, I can conquer the toughest battles of my life through praise. I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? What praise does is to provoke divine intervention. No battle on earth can be tougher than God. With men, that may be impossible, not with God, for with God, all things are possible. What praise does is to provoke divine intervention of that God with whom all things are possible. The one that steps in and the everlasting gates lift up their heads at this instance. The one that's never stranded at any time, if you have been here, our brother would not have died. He says, stop that. 
I am. Anytime I come, the resurrection and the life. I am. He stepped in after four days, the toughest of battles in Bible history, and Lazarus came back to life. Through the instrumentality of praise, Father, I thank you because you have heard me. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jehovah Almighty. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jehovah Almighty. Lazarus, come forth. He came forth. We can conquer the toughest battles of our life through praise. The toughest battles of our lives. Some of the toughest battles in scriptures were won by praise. We saw the rendition of Psalm 114 talking about the majesty of his presence and what that offers. Israel went out of Egypt. God was in the midst of them, and God endured the face of his people. Psalm 22, verse 3. God was in the midst of them. The sea saw them, it fled. That's what his presence amounts to. Jordan was driven back. The mountains keep like rams, and the hills like young lambs. What led the old sea that thou fledest? I know Jordan that I was driven back. And ye mountains that just keep like rams, and ye little hills like lambs. Tremble thou earth at the presence of God. At the presence of the Lord. The God of Jacob. Everything trembles at his presence. What troubles others trembles at his presence. So when we succeed in invoking his presence, troubles tremble at our instance. How do you cross the Red Sea except the Almighty comes down? They carry his presence. The sea saw its creator. Saw the sun. Clears the way, built up the depth. So they walked straight before them. Nobody was climbing or something. Old and young. The mountains just cleared the way because there's no way to carry pregnant women to be climbing the mountain or little children on your back. Everything leveled out for them. We can conquer the toughest battles of our life. Through the mystery of praise. And what praise does is to invoke divine presence, provoke divine intervention, and make the impossible happen in our lives. We are getting there. We are getting there. We are getting there. In Second Chronicles chapter 20, and as they began to sing and to praise, God came down and set ambushment against these impossible enemies. The children were Ammon, Moab, and Mansia, which were come against Judah. And they were smitten. No arrow. They were just singing and praising. And God stepped in and leveled out their toughest enemies. Joshua said, we have no power or might against this army that's come against us. Neither know we what to do. But our eyes are on you. He said, you. Do you want me to step in? Now, set yourself in praise and watch me in action. You don't need to fight in this battle. I'll take it over. We can win the 
toughest battles of our life through praise. No one here shall be stranded anymore. Amen. Complaining and murmuring is never the way forward. It always gets believers granted and if allowed, destroyed. Complaining will steer the wrath of God. You don't need that. I don't need it. When God goes against a man, who can deliver him? And the anger of God was kindled when people complained. He didn't send them help. He became angry with them and he set fire on. They murmured. And they were destroyed of the destroyer. Murmuring made God take off his hand on, from their affairs. The destroyer picks them up. That will not happen to any of us. Yeah. High praises will always deliver supernatural victory in every battle. Supernatural victory in every battle. The wars of Jericho were impregnable wars. Even when it falls, it will still be a war, so there's no way, no access. Family short. Family short. People build houses on the wall, and God said, go around it. Shout, so they can know you are there. A shout of praise brought the walls down, or the walls sank at the shout of praise. Whatever is blocking your assets, no matter how tough, no matter how long it has been, at the shout of high praises, they will sink. Yeah. And every man went straight before them. Verse 20. So the people shouted when the priest blew with the trumpets. And it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet, the people shouted with a great shout that the wall of Jericho fell down flat so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. Whatever may be blocking anyone's access, generational causes, diabolical causes, the wickedness of the wicked, that won't let you assess God's agenda for your life, with a shout of praise, not, not civilized praise. The kind of praise that David had, throwing himself up and down as the king of Israel. And God said, let me see you smoking him there. Shouted Micah down. The praise that will silence your enemies is not a gentleman's praise. And David danced with all his might. Your long-awaited victory must be delivered the few days remaining. Yeah. Let the high priest of God be in their mouth. And a two-edged sword in their hand. Psalm 149. It talks about high praises. To adjust saw the word of God. To execute vengeance upon the people. And punishment upon the heathen. To execute upon them the judgment written. This honor of all his sins. We start from verse 6. Let the high praise of God be in their mouth. And a two-edged sword in their hands. To execute vengeance upon the people, upon the heathen, and vengeance upon the people. To execute, to bind their kings with chains, and their nobles with fetters of iron. And they went on and said, this honor of all the saints. This will answer for every child of God that knows how to deal with this. High praises, praising God on the basis of his word, that we all will all Provoked for confirmation through high praises. Somebody's told is changing. Yeah. If that's you, let me hear your loudest, amen. Yeah. 
Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Now in Psalm 47, we are very used to it. The word says, Oh, clap your hands, oh ye people, and shout unto God with the voice of triumph. For the Lord Most High is terrible when you do that. He's great king over all the earth. He shall subdue the people under us. That's what's happening. And the nations under our feet. Now, he shall choose our inheritance for us. The excellence of, ja excellence of Jacob, whom he loved. He will deliver our inheritance to us in the midst of a great shout of praise. God has gone up with a shout. That is, he rises up to the occasion with a shout. A shout of praise. He said, I'm here. I'm here for you. That's what he's saying. He delivers our inheritance to us through a shout of praise. Whatever the enemy might be rob robbing any one of us of shall be delivered tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Number three, he prays a covenant trigger for a desired supernatural turnaround. Covenant trigger is a covenant trigger. He steps in and things turn in our favor. When God steps in, things will always turn in our favor. When God steps into our fears, things will always turn in our favor. When God steps in, things must turn. When God steps in, things must turn. Habakkuk 3, 17 to 19. The word says, Although the fig tree shall not blossom, and neither shall there be fruit in the vine, vine, the fruit of the olive shall fail, and the fish shall yet no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the field, from the fold, and there shall be no herd in the stores. Yet I will rejoice and be glad in him. I will rejoice and be glad. I lift up my voice to sing praise to the Lord. This is the day. And you look like a fool to everybody. What's he rejoicing about? These people are daft. They have brainwashed them. I will rejoice and be glad. You can imagine what they were saying to Abraham when he was singing. He was strong and faith glorifying God. I will rejoice and be glad. This is what's happening. My children are the stars of heaven. Much more than the sand that's by the seashore. <laughs> Amen. Then the Lord will rise to the occasion to make my feet like hands feet and get me up on my high places so as to silence my mockers. God is visiting you now. Amen. Stop looking at what is happening. Look at what is written. What must I do? to invoke a change. Rejoice. In the integrity of your God and the integrity of his world, do that consciously. Do that heartily. Let it go beyond the tip of your tongue and it will step in. God is talking to someone here. Number four, everything clears the way for God. Everything that clears the way for God, I mentioned that earlier, clears the way for acceptable praising believer. Everything that clears the way for God clears the way for every acceptable praising believer. Not praising God in hypocrisy. Let me say, see, I can't, there's no way I can rejoice like this. I say we should praise God. The heart of man is very deep. And definitely we can do can know it. I, the Lord, I sat the heart and I tried the reins to determine what is delivered to any man. 
let God find the right thing in your heart. He said, keep your heart with all the things for out of it are the issues of life. Out of it are the issues of life. The events on our outside, they are direct products of what goes on on our inside. But when our prayer is acceptable, God comes down to keep us company. Let me see we block the way against them. You know your God, when he searches for his hand, who can turn it back? When God searches for his hand, who can turn it back? Isaiah 43, I mean, Isaiah 14, verse 27. For the Lord of hosts has purpose, and who shall disannul it, and his hand is searched for, and who shall turn it back? Isaiah 43 verse 13, repeating the same thing. When I stretch forth my hand, who shall turn it back? Who shall let it? I will walk, who shall let it? I will walk and who shall let it? There is none that can deliver out of my hand. So when you bring God down, everything that clears the way for God, clears the way for you. My prayer again is that whatever remains as your portion, that's here to reach your hand, it must come this time. In Acts chapter 16, and verse 25 to 30, Paul and Silas were shut up in the prison. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed, and what? And sang praise unto God, no silent praise. And the prisoners heard them. So the mockery heightened. And suddenly, God came down. How do I know? The Lord in it, let the earth tremble. And the foundation of the prison was shaken. You know Psalm 99 verse 1? The Lord in it, let the earth tremble. The Lord in it. Every time God steps in, the unusual happens. The earth trembles. The earth trembles. And suddenly, because you can't lock God in. Can any prison shut God in? Suddenly, there was a great earthquake. The foundation of the prison was shaken. Was shaken. And immediately, all the doors were open. My God. Psalm 24 and verse 7. The word said, Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lift up, ye everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, ye gates. Your heads, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors. Everlasting, no matter how long it has been. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. So whatever can shut God in, can shut you in. The few days remaining, God will show up in your affairs. God will show up in your life. Now, let's go the right way. If you have been mourning about anything before, tell God you are sorry to forgive you. Amen. The destroyer is hanging around your life. Lord, I'm sorry. I did it in ignorance. Forgive me. I don't know, is that costly? More money is costly. Complaining can be devastating. <laughs> tell God you are sorry. Don't just glide over it. I say, what does that mean? It means everything. Amen. There is no sin God cannot forgive, and there is none He will forgive without you asking for His forgiveness. You can't be qualified for forgiveness without asking for it. Your reasons may look authentic, but the scriptures cannot be broken. Neither murmur ye, the reasons notwithstanding. For they that mourn in the wilderness were destroyed of the destroyer. First Corinthians 10 10. The people complained and God had it. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them. But many fell. Many died. I need you, God, more than anything. I know no reason is tenable for breaking scriptures. The scripture cannot be broken no matter who is involved. Somebody's story has just changed. 
If that's you, let me hear your loudest, amen. amen. Let me hear your loudest, amen. amen. All this recounting, you know, I've been serving you, I've been doing this. You are wasting your time. You want a change of story? I will rejoice and be glad in thee. I will rejoice and be glad. I lift up my voice to sing praise to the Lord. This is a day he has made. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Emmanuel. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, shout to Tolaye Miko Dawadro. Don't think he has stopped. He's still working on me. Oh, shout to Tolaye Miko Dawaduro. Bobo Araye. Ewabame. Egbega, Egbega, O. Ebamigbega. Just be filled with prayer. You can't tell what's in it until you get addicted to it. You can't tell what's in it until you get addicted to it. We have never suffered a setback in 40 years by the hand of God. There's always a room to say, thank you, Jesus. You have lost anything. I'm the reason why you have not lost everything. You don't give me thanks, you start to lose more. If anything, everybody means. The dice is cast. The ball is in your court. Play as well as you know how to. Tonight we are going to praise him. And our praise shall be acceptable. And it will change our story. No case is terminal with God. Even when God announced the terminal case of Ezekiah, he turned it around. Because the Lord was ready to heal me, therefore, we will sing my song. And suddenly God came down and confirmed this word. There is no terminal case with God. Amen. No case could be more terminal than the case of Lazarus. That's terminal in the infinitum. There's nothing remaining. Nothing. Even the people that were his own people said he's thinking. Don't let us go there. He's not part of this family anymore. His case is closed. There is no closed case with God. They shot down Paul and Silas. They were to be brought out the following morning to be slain. But when God stepped in, they became dignified. The prisoner, or the warder, whatever man is in charge of the prison, says, what shall I do to be saved? They became sars. You know what it means to be sars? You, you have not been to Anglican before, so you may not know. A sars is the epitome of uh, um, Chieftain C. Titus in the Anglican system. I know some of you were there before, so you are laughing. You walk hard towards sa. It's like sand. <laughs> Praise God. One of my brothers said, you know I'm a sa now, eh? I said, I don't know. <laughs> That's how William Wilberforce <laughs> Praise God. Well, your shame will be turned to double glory. Yeah. Every devil mocking you will be silenced by the hand of God. Yeah. Lift up your right hand and give God thanks and praise for putting the key in your hand for continuous and unending change of story in your walk with God. Give him thanks, give him praise, give him glory. There is no one like him. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Take all the praise. Take all the glory. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Whatever trait you can find in Christ that's working in any of us tonight, as we partake of the communion, they shall be flushed out. Can you imagine Jesus complaining? More money? Pointing accusing fingers at God, you won't see that again in your life. Yeah. You will not see that again in your life. Yeah. 
You will not see that again in your life. If those fellows refuse to fetch water, uh, to pour water in, to feed the water pots with water, they will end that occasion with shame. But many say whatever he tells you to do, do it. And you see how we overturn your shame to glory. And they feed the water pots, they were mocking them. But when the water turned to sweeter one than the one they pay for with their money, my God, where did you keep this wine? People serve the best wine at the beginning of a feast and serve the worst one when the feast is running off. How have you kept the better wine to this time? The better aspect of your life will start showing up now. <laughs> As you fill your, your water pots with praise. Fill your water pots with praise. Don't mind those who are mocking you. God is out to make you. In the name of Jesus. One more time, give the Lord a big hand of praise. You are here this evening and you are not born again yet. Only the living shall praise him as I do this day. Praise belongs to the living. And whosoever has the Son of God has life. Whosoever has not the Son of God has not life. Salvation is not a philosophy. It's not an ideology. It's an experience. If any man being Christ is a new creature, all things are passed away, all things have become new. You are here this evening, you want to say, Jesus, save my soul. Forgive me my sins. Make me a child of God. Make me eligible for a lifestyle of praise. The praise that works. Wherever you are, please stand to your feet. Either here at the youth, cent the youth chapel or any of the different centers across our zona centers. You want to say, Jesus, save my soul. Please stand to your feet. And I'll be praying with you at the same time. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. God bless you. Now, there are also people here tonight that need to rededicate their life to Jesus. They connect back to their eternal source. Maybe you are once saved, but at a point, things went off. You know you are no longer there. But you want to return tonight, wherever you are, stand to your feet. And I'll pray with you at the same time. You want to rededicate your life to Christ tonight, stand. You want to dedicate your life tonight to Christ, stand. You want to dedicate your life to Christ tonight, please stand. I pray, we pray for you at the same time. Now, that applies to all the VIN centers, all our zona fellowship centers across Lagos and Otter. We are praying at the same time before we step into praise and serve the communion. Thank you, Jesus. All of us who are standing, please come quickly. Find your way to the front. Come over. It's your turn for a change of story. In case you didn't stand at that time, you can see join us right now. Jesus, save my soul. Jesus, restore me back to the faith. Jesus, change my story tonight. Please come. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Somebody else is standing up to join us. Join us quickly. Tonight is your night of change. Tonight is your night of change. Come quickly. Come quickly. Across the various Zona Fellowship Centers, please move to the front. Move to the front right now. Jesus is waiting for you to change your story forever. It's a new day and a new dawn. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Everyone in front, please bow your heads. Across the various Zona Centers, please bow your heads before the Most High God and lift up your right hand to heaven. And pray this prayer of faith from the depth of your heart. As you repeat after me, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you tonight. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your blood. I believe you died for me. On the third day you rose again. That I may be justified. Right now, I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. And I believe my sins are now forgiven. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Thank you, Jesus, for restoring me back to the faith. I shall serve you by your grace all the days of my life. And by your help, I shall live the overcomer's life and make heaven 
at the end of my journey. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen. Now, let me pray over you, Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray over these precious souls, both here at the youth chapel and across our zona centers. Lord, your hand has brought them in to your kingdom. Let the same grace preserve them. I cover every one of you with the blood of Jesus. Remain covered against us, satanic as us. You will never step back into darkness anymore. You will make it through to the end. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Congratulations. Congratulations. Please follow the church officials this way and complete your sleeps and join us for the communion. Shall we all rise to our feet, please? Thank you, Jesus.